Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Heart. And today we are gonna make our own handheld, drill powered chicken plucker. Y'all stay tuned. We are making a chicken plucker and I got this idea from John over at Jano Zero. He did a uh, hand plucker some time ago. We were actually searching for ideas about how to make a chicken plucker because the one that we actually want, which is the um, the yard bird, it's uh, I think it's about 500 bucks or so. And so we don't have that in our budget. We can't afford that at this time. So we were looking for an inexpensive way to do this. We were originally going to be plucking all of our chickens by hand. And I'm like, oh my goodness, um, that could possibly be a nightmare, right? We are going to probably experiment with one or two birds doing it by hand, just so that we can know and have an understanding as to how to actually do it and what that process is like. But we are going to make a plucker too. <laughs> So I'm going to show y'all how we're doing this. We're pretty much following what um, he did. Basically, we are, you know, so yeah, let's see how this works, you all. So let's go ahead and get into making this plucker, okay? Okay, so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a four inch PVC cap. You're going to need a uh, all thread, three eighth inch all thread. You're going to also need a 3 8 inch drill bit to go along with this, okay? 3 8 all thread, 3 8 drill bit. You're going to need a 5 16 drill bit. You're going to need two regular um, um, nuts here. And these, are, these will fit the 3 8 Two washers. Two lock washers. And five five of the bungees. Now, he recommended 16-inch um, bungees. Our store didn't have 16-inch bungees. Our store actually only had 24-inch bungees, but that's okay. We're going to cut these down, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we get into putting this together, we need to remove all of the S-hooks from these bungees, okay? So, we're just going to take all of these out. Okay, you all, so the first thing we're going to do is get all of these bungees cut in half. And we do have to cut them down a little bit more because, remember, we didn't have the 16-inch bungees. We got the 24. So we're going to have to cut these down even more. So we're going to go ahead and get these cut in half. I'm probably going to get Mr. Homestead Hart to do this part. <laughs> Just measuring off. Okay. That's it. Okay, so what Mr. Homestead Hart has done, he just cut an additional two inches off of each one of these bungees to bring us down to the size that we're needing to be at. So off of each side, he took off an additional two inches because these were a little too long for what we're using them for. So let's go ahead and move to the next step. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to drill a hole into the very center of our four inch PVC cap. And we're going to use that 3 8 inch drill bit on here, okay? Because remember, we got the 3 8 inch all thread. So we're going to put a hole directly in the center. Okay. So we got the hole in the center of the PVC uh, pipe. Now, the next thing we're going to do is here. What I did was I measured on this cap about three and an eighth inch apart, 
for each one of these spaces because this is where we are actually measuring to put in our fingers which these little bungees are going to become these are the fingers for the plucker and so i got these measured at three and a quarter inch apart okay and right on the side i have these measurements marked here and this is where i'm going to drill from these two lines i have them a half inch from the bottom half inch from the top because if we get too close to the bottom of the top we can actually crack the pvc cap and so I have half inch here from the bottom, half inch from the top, and I'm going to start putting a hole here with my 5 16th drill bit, and this is where we're going to put our fingers at, okay? Okay, you all, so Mr. Homestead Hart is drilling the holes inside of the, um, the PVC cap. What he's doing is hollowing it out right here. He's hollowing it out. He put two holes in. He's hollowing it out here to make it one long little piece here so that we can actually get the fingers in. And I have to tell you, it is a fight trying to get each one of these in because it is going to be a really, really tight fit, which is what you want because you don't want the fingers coming out. So it is going to be a really, really tight fit, you all, because they're trying, we're trying to get them into these two little, into this little space right here that he has hollowed out. And he's going to widen it a little bit more, but it's only going to be a tight fit only to hold these in place. So you can see on the inside what they look like, but we're going to show you, okay? The bigger end of these bungees, that's what's holding this in place. So these won't pop out. When I tell you they are in there, they are in there. So we're going to continue. Oh my goodness, those things are no joke trying to get those through there. <laughs> mm -hmm. It ain't. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, you all. So, Mr. Homestead Hart just finished putting in all of the fingers. Was that hard, babe? Very. Yeah. <laughs> It was difficult getting all these little fingers in and on the inside as you can see y'all and one thing that I would suggest like once you drill your holes and stuff on the inside of this cap I think we both agree that because we were doing them one section at a time but I think we both agree it's better to do all of the ones at the bottom around the bottom and then come back because you got to try to maneuver those things on the inside to get them in through the little bitty holes and it is a seriously tight fit so we got all of these in and five as you can see I wouldn't do any more than five spaces here because it's just not enough room really to put any more than five we are going to put on a a nut right here Then we're going to put on lock washer. I'm having to ask Mr. Homestead Hart. And then we're putting on a regular washer. Okay. And then on the inside, we're going to stick this through here on the inside. Now, the issue is, is that we can't get that washer through there, babe. How are we going to do that? Let's make an opening. Okay. Hold it up. Mm-hmm. Insert it. Turn it. real snug. It's good. It's coming through. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now we just got to get the washer down. So it's going to go. Okay. okay. All right. Just make room. Did it all fall down? Okay, then bring the, the nut down. Okay, you all, so Mr. Homestead Hart is now just tightening up the nut on this so that it'll stay in place. And then he's going to insert that into the drill and tighten that up on the drill. Okay. There we go. All right then. All right, you all. So that is going to do it for how to make your very own handheld drill powered chicken plucker. Okay. So, and this is a battery powered chicken plucker. It's not even, I mean, battery powered drill. It's not even the um, electrical uh, drill. So hopefully we'll see if this does the trick, okay? So yeah, if um, you're not wanting to do this by hand and you're not ready yet to put it in your budget to get something like a yard bird or a featherman chicken plucker, you know, hopefully this will work for you. We're hoping that it works for us. I'm liking it so far. There. And it don't look like it's going very fast, you all, but it really is. You know how those fans spin around and you can't tell that the blades are really moving fast and they are. So it's moving pretty, pretty fast. Um, Mr. Homestead Hart did a great job putting this together and he was very patient with getting all of the fingers into the... Um, uh, four inch PVC cap right here. So I'm actually, you know, excited to try this and see how this turns out. So we have uh, quite a few birds that we're going to be processing this weekend, and we're excited to take you all along with us on that journey to see how our hand powered, our drill powered handheld chicken plucker will do. So you all stay tuned. We will have that video coming for you as well. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss any single video that we post to our channel. So thank you all so much again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to you all and we'll see you in the next video.